morning right carrying on with this page i'm really liking the background now i think it's more fitting with the images i've cut a slit in the little india ink bottle and i've sort of poked the feather in there because you know thought it'd make it look like it's um yeah dipping in the ink basically so what I want to do now is add some colour to these images. I think I'm going to leave that one as it is, the um, hand one. Um, but the pen and the quill and the India ink bottle, I want to add some colour to. Um, but I also, this has gone quite bendy actually. This is the mixed media paper. I think I want to add, do I just want to ink? Um... I might just want to ink into these edges actually so I can do that while these are drying right yeah that's a plan okay I'll put that to the side right I've got my little watercolor palette thingy here I've shown you this one it was a recent uh, haul video so I've just got that out to the side I, yeah I, I don't know what colors to do I'll be honest with you I've been studying for ages procrastinating and I was like, no, just get on with it and see, let them see you struggling. <laughs> so, yes. So with the feather, do I, because the, traditionally they used to use swan feathers, didn't they? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know what colour. I think I've decided on blue for the, um, the bottle. So, and I was thinking on this, I would do black gold I've got my um Dana Rowney gold paint here yeah it just says gold so I was thinking I might put a gold here and a gold for the tip and maybe black and black or just you know like a or maybe a brown would be better I don't know let's just do it shall we so anyway right let's crack on I'm really apprehensive about doing this one and I don't know why but let's just get on with it so a nice thin brush in I don't want to make them too wet either um, I think I'll go for that's quite a nice blue okay we'll go for that one I'm hoping that it's not going to be too dark I know it would probably have been black ink in the day, but I didn't want to do black. Quite simply. I've had a couple of comments that people are quite enjoying this, so I'm just going to carry on, guys. Um, like I say, you've got the option to not watch the video if you don't want to. So. Another absolutely foul day here again. We get sunshine and showers, and they're not just showers. I thought my front garden was going to flood yesterday. It absolutely heaves it down, so. Right over the edge there. Okay. Um, I've got the next images ready for the next ones I'm going to do. I'm hoping the next ones turn up quite quickly, actually, because um, I'm getting through these rather quickly. So hopefully they will be here soon. We shall see. And then that will be all of Tamara's ones done. If you're watching, thank you, my lovely. I've enjoyed playing with these. Right. Now that would be a cork, so that needs to be brownish. So let's just carry on the um, darker blue there. Let me get that darker one. Let's see what that's like. Or is that the one I use? <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's slightly darker. Let's 
So thankfully they've had the sense, kind of like I did actually, to do it all in um, waterproof stamping drawing. I don't know whether these are drawings or whether these are stamped images. They may be photocopies of, I, I don't know. I don't know whether they're originals or not. So, but they're good fun to play with. How do I do the background? I think I'll leave the lettering or should I just go over the whole thing? Oh, I don't know what to do. Do I leave the lettering white? No, I'll tell you what we're going to do just to make it less painful for me and for you is I'm just going to colour wash the whole thing I think that's a strong colour, nice mustardy colour. Yeah, that's really strong. All right, just wash that bit down. Just to give it a bit of colour, just to get rid of the white. I think it'll be a bit bit much trying to do all the uh, word lettering and that so I think we'll just colour wash no ink running so far hurrah right and then the top the cork I'm going to colour wash and then I had a brown here somewhere. Where's my colour chart? Yeah, that one there, I think. Looks corkish, doesn't it? Some little dots in. Maybe some little dots. If it's quite dotty cork. I'll give you a close up, don't worry. Sorry if I'm really quiet. I am really. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% with this one. This is my... There we go. That looks alright, doesn't it? That'll do. Yeah, I, th I don't think I want to do any more on there, but I I'm happy with the result of the cork there. That looks alright. Right, right okie dokie. So you're done. Let's put you there for safekeeping. Now then, the feather... I say they used to use swan feathers, which are obviously white. Um, what I might do is kind of go in with that actually shall I just let me think what colour are they they're sort of a grey really aren't they yeah grey not brown Susan okay so is that black yeah that is black there so let's go in with a very very watery black Excuse the sniffing. Are you in the frame? Yeah, you are. Good. I think what I'll just do is this.
this is just a bog standard I don't even know if it's for watercolour really I just picked up a brush I have no idea you get a lot of I say if you ever watch um, Creations by Cece she'll tell you exactly which brush she's using and I guess it makes a difference I don't know just adding a little bit more life to this so please with that decision I don't want to get rid of too much of the white because I say I'm pretty sure they used to use swan feathers as um, quills it's just added a little bit more interest to it isn't it just thinking about just going around the edge as well That's added a bit more life to it, hasn't it? Got a little bit of grey down here. It'll help lift it off the page as well. I don't know. I'm really tempted to gesso that um, writing page, but I don't know. I need to play with this stuff more, don't I? Because then I'll have a bit more confidence of what I'm doing. So this is doing me the world of good. I know um, a couple of um, people have said that they're actually learning bits, so that's that's great. I'm definitely no expert, but that's certainly lifted that, hasn't it? Has made it a little bit more, a little bit more lifelike. Okay, cool. Yeah, happy with that. I wanted it mostly white, but I think just adding that bit of grey has has made it come alive a bit. So, right, don't add any more. That's fine. Right, you sit there and dry. Okay, so the pen, I'm just trying to think, were they more traditionally woody, weren't they? I don't know why I'm fussing so much about lifelike, but that is just me, so let's, um, let's see if we can do some simulated wood, Pff, should be a laugh. It's nothing like wood, but it's fine. Thinking of a walnut burr. <laughs> Bit ambitious. Okay. I 
Oh dish. That'll do. Kind of woody. Yeah. Eh, that'll do. Okay. Um, I'll just go black there. And then we'll start adding some gold. So I'll do a gold tip. I think we'll just have black here then. Just, just warms that black down a bit. Maybe I'll just do the woody effect there as well. Let's give it a go, shall we? So I'm thinking I'll do gold there. I might try and do these fine stripes in gold as well, because that's kind of how they would look. I say this might seem a bit fussy, but I really just want to use this as as a practice, a way of practicing stuff and. Trying to think outside the old box a bit. I'm really glad I changed the background to the text. I must admit that that really, it's really glad I had that light bulb moment, and I think it's um, I think it's made a difference. I think if I'd have just gone the flowers, it'd have been a bit safe. I think so. Uh, yeah, please, please that I did that. So uh, this is where it could all go horribly wrong. <laughs> going to need a lot of that so I'm not going to put a lot out I think it's uh, yeah it's acrylic ink so let's see what this does I'm just going to make sure you're seeing here you are Really good girl yesterday. I got my sewing done. It's babysitting the granddaughter for an hour and a bit while mum walked dogs because, um, well, I don't blame her. She refused to go out in that weather. <laughs> she was like, no, not going out with the dogs. So I had her for it's about an hour and a half. She done some gel plate printing. It's the little one, Eleanor. She loves the gel plate almost as much as her nan does. So we've gel printed up some fabric and I'm not going to say what we're going to make of it because sometimes my daughter watches these videos uh, but we're going to make a Christmas present for mum so that's a very fancy pen and do I need any more no I think that'll do Oh, there you are, very fancy, fancy pen. 
not enamoured of the gold, but it's okay. Just put them a bit tighter here. Okay, yep, that'll do fine. <laughs> I thought this is going to go wrong because I'm filming it. That's not too bad, is it? So we've got a nice fancy gold fountain, uh, no, ink, um, yeah, pen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that'll do fine. Okie dokie. Right, I'll smooth it out of the way because actually I'll just pick that up because if that goes on anything, it's a nightmare. It doesn't wash off. I know I say save your um, watercolours, but there's so little on there, I'm not going to. Not gonna mind them myself about that, right? Okay, dokey. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ink the background. I can't get that back in. <laughs> I'll do that when I'm finished. All right, you shift out of the way. Okay. Oh. To gesso or not to gesso? That is the question. Let's have a look. Let's reassemble and see if we need. This is still quite wet, so I won't be able to. That went up a bit, didn't it? Back and come down here. Put it that way, I think. Oh, does it need gesso? I wish you were here telling me. I think I need to ink it a bit more, don't I? Because then that will stand out a bit more. Okay. I didn't touch any of this because it's still quite wet. I think what I will do is use one of my fabulous brushes let me get that water out of the way so it's going to go everywhere do I vintage photo it up I have got blue actually bear with me that's the one thing I didn't get out because I hadn't quite decided what I was going to do I don't know why, but I feel blue. I have to use one of my new ones for that. Let's do a mixture. Sorry, my head might get in the way here. I just want to knock back some of this white. It's uh, kind of taking over. my mat with ink right, I've got weathered wood here which is um, that was vintage photo the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I think a lot of us have got these. This is the lighter of the blues. It's almost grey actually. Because I've got the Broken China as well, but I think that one is really... Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Let's put a little bit of that in as well. If you buy these brushes just hold the top they've got quite a weak neck here so you do have to little be a little bit I kind of use a 
thumb or something on the actual head of it, if you like. Seems to help it slide better. Apologies if my head is getting in the way. I don't think it is. a bit more it is standing out better but a little bit more blue up there I like the brown paper but that is kind of swallowing the uh, image a bit I'll go around the whole edges I think with the Oh god, which was which? <laughs> oh, I've written it on there, thank god for that. Right, that was that one. That's that one. I'll just keep them on for a minute. Might need some more. So you're going to go there. You're definitely going to go there. So I like you on there. And our pen. Down here. That doesn't show up at all, does it? So I think I've got to go in with a bit of gesso. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking really really dry brush and then maybe put some more ink on top because I'm losing this in amongst all the pages right bear with me I didn't get it down so two seconds Just bog standard gesso, nothing exciting. Um, I need my really stiff little brush. Although, I said that, no, I'd like the wider ones. Where are they? Sorry, thought it was all organised. Obviously not. This could absolutely destroy it, but we'll give it a go. Because you don't know until you try. And we can always go back over it again. Oh, sorry, I was just moving the camera. I've had to put the phone on charge. It was looking a little bit sad. Still want to see its text, but I really just want to knock back some of the colour. Some of these more. Sorry, uh, some of these more dominant browns. here I think that's better it's showing up a bit better isn't it 
that I might, uh, I wasn't going to ink around it, would I? I don't know. No, I might just push that into the background a bit more. Yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, let's just try this one. Yeah, I think that's much better. Much, much better. Oh. Let's get rid of that really dominant. It's a lovely old book page, but it's very, very dominantly brown. Right, okay, I think that's a lot better. Happier with that. I think the images will stand out a lot better on it. It shouldn't take too long to dry either. I have got the heat gun. Um, yeah, hold your ears for a second. Let me just put the lid back on this, otherwise it'll, I'm such a klutz, it'll go everywhere. Right, I'm just going to hit it with a heat gun, so you might want to turn just sound off for a minute. Just move everything out of the way. <laughs> right, the heat gun's here, so... Uh, right, okay. Hold your ears, guys. Just get it a little bit drier. Yeah, see, that's just knocked it back a bit. Yeah, much better. It actually took the ink with it, so that was interesting. Okay, I'll say I'm going to ink around the edges, so uh, I'm going to keep it on there because, yeah, yeah, much happier with that. Right, okay, let's get everything on here. Okay, I think we'll go with um, art glitter glue because, or this one in particular, is on really thick card. Of course, there's a blockage again. Of course. Wouldn't be one of my videos without a blocked in, um, blue thing, would it? Okay. This is where my eyesight fails me and I never get anything on straight. Oh, dear. Okay. Just, I think I'll put the pen on next and then uh, you see the way everything stands out a lot better. Just a little bit of gesso just makes a lot of difference. I've also um, decided to make a cover for the book. I wasn't that that the one that I showed you, it was okay. But I, I looked at it and I thought, do you know what? You can do better than that. And, you know, this little mini series, whatever you want to call it, really, is, is kind of about me stretching myself and, and having a go at, um, you know, thinking outside the box a bit more. And I started watching an old one of Artie Mays's, uh, Andrea's videos last night, where she was doing the faux leather and I, I really think I fancy having a go at that, so I'm going to, basically. Now, I'll leave you there. So if I stick everything, apart from that slit, hopefully I'll have time. Let me get the feather. I'll move it, <laughs> obviously. doesn't need tons and tons and tons this art glitter glue is marvellous I must say right, I need to be careful because the edge of the page is there I'm just going to lay it there for a second
clean bit. Okay, it's done. It's in. What the heck is that? It's really sharp. Hmm. There's a card. Okay, it's done. You can't see it, but it's done. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's all right. Again, I'm learning with you guys. I am definitely learning, which is all good. Right, I'm going to trim off that awkward edge there because that is getting on my pip a bit. Tidy up these edges. I think I'll give it a good inking around the edges now and hopefully that will bring everything together. Yep. I'd like to have made more of that actually. If there'd have been a little pot in there or something, I'd have stood that in the pot, but there wasn't. So I guess I could have added, but the whole idea of this is to just use the images that um, Tamara has sent me. So I haven't received the other ones yet, but I'll be carrying on as soon as they arrive. I've still got a few more of hers left. I've got another page planned here. So hopefully, let me see what the time is. Sorry, let me just see. I don't know. Oh, 37 minutes. And you've been filming in the wrong pigging direction. Oh, seriously? Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm going to let it run. Sorry, guys. I've just, I've literally just noticed. Sorry, I'm making you a bit seasick here, I would imagine. It's all been filming in the wrong blinking direction. Oh, I'll leave it in. I'm really sorry. Sorry. <laughs> all tight. Oh, lordy. I was nearly done. Oh, stupid camera. I'll check it. If it's all filmed um, caddywonkus, I'll, I'll just have to show you the finished page. Oh, uh, poop. Right, okay, darn, I'm going to check that before I start the next one. Really sorry if that all filmed in the wrong direction, which I've got a horrible feeling it did. Right, so that's that. Might do is just to bring in that blue, just do the old bit around the edge here. Right, there we are. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to check this video. I'm so blinking annoyed with myself. I should have checked that before I started. Because it's very frustrating when they film in the wrong direction. Right, I'll leave that one there. And then I'll start the other one fresh. So, sorry. <laughs> right, bye.